Hi guys, I'm Cash with Cashed Out Cars and in today's video I'm going to be going over everything wrong with my 2006 VR6 Passat 4 Motion. So I got this car at just under 115,000 miles. I've had it for a little bit over 2,000 miles. So I've fixed some of the problems that I'm going to talk about but some of them are still on the car and they're not really worth fixing to me. So right now we're going to go over everything wrong. So the first thing that I want to bring up that's wrong with this car is the paint isn't perfect in a lot of places there are correction points. Um, a lot of places have like nicks and rock chips especially on the hood up here and those have been touched up with what looks like OEM paint. It looks pretty good. It's not perfect from a distance. This car looks really really good but like I said it's not perfect. Coming down here the wheels have some corrosion on them. Uh, as you could tell I'm picking on little things with this car. There's not a lot major wrong but the wheels do have some corrosion on them. The headlights also were very gunked up and yellowed. I just cleaned those up this weekend, so those once again look a lot better. The grill's got some slight problems here with the chrome peeling off of it. Once again, not a big problem, but just a slight little visual thing. So coming over to the interior here, like most Volkswagens of this era, we have some soft touch peeling issues. So it's mostly on this driver's side handle here, and then there's a little bit on the driver's side lock switch and on the passenger side lock switch. Other problems that have came up interior wise is the windows don't really work as they should. Once again, that's a common problem with these cars. The back driver's side window doesn't go down or up at all and the switches for the windows once in a while make the windows work as they should but sometimes I'll put a window up and it'll go right back down and that's just sort of random as it goes with this car. Coming over to the back of the car here if you get up close every time you open the doors it creaks a lot. Right now it's actually not as bad as it normally is because I've been opening this door a lot but the doors definitely need to be lubed up. They're pretty loud as it is. Not horrible, but once again, it's basically the back two doors that get used less. They make a lot of noise when I open and close them. Coming over to the mirror here, once again, I fixed this problem and it was actually the passenger side that had the problem, but the mirror is separated from the backing and it would literally flap as it goes down the road. I have a video on how to fix that, but that was a bit of an issue. So now I'll pop the hood and show you one small oil leak that is coming from the engine. So if you look under here, uh, coming from the valve cover right there, there's a small oil leak on this side. And then there's also just a tiny bit of oil leaking from the opposite side here. Once again, in the same spot. It's not something I'm overly concerned about, but it does leak just a little bit. And then another problem powertrain and engine wise is under really hard acceleration, the car does smoke just a little bit. Um, it is whitish blue smoke, so I don't know if it's burning oil or coolant or what the problem is, but it's pretty subtle and it's not something that I'm gonna fix because I plan on keeping this car for about a year and really just driving it and enjoying it. And then after that, uh, it doesn't really matter to me what happens with it. A couple final things here is the tires on it aren't in great shape. Um, they're definitely coming to the end of their life. And other than that, the rear brake pads are running a little bit low on life. But once again, those are just normal maintenance items, not something that's significantly wrong with this car. All right, so a final couple of problems with this car is we're missing the three on the 3.6 badge. So currently we were running a 0.6, but it feels pretty fast for only being a 0.6. And then if you come around here to the interior, and this is one of the biggest problems with this car. If you look in there, sadly it's an automatic. And the reason it's an automatic is they did not make this car in a manual in the United States, so I had to settle for the automatic. But with the 3.6 liter VR6 and being a pretty nice cruiser as it is, I'm still pretty happy with it. So that's going to wrap up this video. I am going to make a common problems video on the B6 Passat, so subscribe if you want to see that. Like this video if you liked it. And... Uh, as I said, subscribe for more.